Welcome to Intermediate Intarsia for Machine Knitting. I made a beginner video that I'll link in the top right. You may want to check that out before we get started here. Intarsia is usually worked from charts, and there are tools to help you keep track of which row you're on, like this one here. I, however, cannot count reliably, and I'm planning to work on large complex pieces that would make this kind of charting a nightmare for me. Conveniently, the needles on the machine bed are numbered, and I can match numbers to other numbers. So I wrote a Python script that parses an image file and outputs some explicit instructions in a way that works for me. There's a link to a GitHub gist below. First, it does some pre-processing that gives me the position of the work on the bed, assuming it's centered, and how many cakes of each color I need. Then, every time I hit the spacebar, it gives me another row of instructions telling me what color goes on what numbered needles. The first row from left to right, the second row from right to left, alternating that way for the rest of the piece, working from the bottom up. It was a few hours of work that will save me a lot of headache in the long run. This will work on any image file with any number of colors. For the first real test, I picked out an ink blot with two colors. Let me show you how I turn an image like this into a knittable chart. First, crop the image down to just the interesting bits. You can always come back and clean this up later. Then resize the image to the size of your work. I'm planning a 100 stitch wide piece, but I want a few pixels of border, so I'll make the image 92 pixels wide. My gauge swatch has seven and three quarter stitches and 11 rows per inch, and I want to make it a square piece, so I divide the width by that ratio and get my height, which is 131. And it's tiny, so zoom it in. It looks stretched out, but because stitches are wider than they are tall, the finished piece will look fine. Now we need to transform this into three colors of stitches. Go to Image Mode Indexed and then generate an optimum palette with three colors. Use the pencil and eraser tools to clean up errant pixels and a few of the fuzzy bits to make this easier to knit. This is the final image that I'm working with. I've done my pre-processing, so it's time to start knitting. I have wound off all of my cakes of yarn. Is this enough yarn? I don't know. Uh, if I need more, I can always wind off more. This is Tam 3-ply Poly Astro Krill because it's what I have and it's pretty affordable. I'm casting on 100 stitches. And I've got the river off for this so I can see what I'm doing. Hang the cast on comb, hang some weight, and knit a few rows of plain stockinette to get started. The first pass of the intarsia carriage brings all the needles out into working position. And then I'm just following the instructions from my script. The first row is tricky. Make sure the end of the yarn facing away from the carriage is feeding from the cake. I'm using binder clips to attach the tails to the cast on comb, and you can't see it here, but each of these has a sinker on it. From the second row onward, you have to be careful to overlap the next segment with the previous by bringing the yarn underneath. The yarns look a little tangled, but this is still workable. And then it's just more working through the rows. This has gotten fairly complicated fairly quickly, and I've got this pile of yarn. I might run out of sinkers. We're gonna see. I had to stop and untangle the ends a few times and cut any yarns that were no longer in work, leaving long tails to weave in later. Ah, 
I eventually got the hang of it. When I got to the end, I was too lazy to dig out my main carriage, so I knit a few plain rows of white with the Antarja carriage. And then bound off around the gate pegs. Here's what it looks like fresh off the machine. And the final piece after weaving in the ends and washing. This was a good test of what the Intarja carriage is capable of. I've got some big plans for future projects. Stick around for advanced Intarja.